in this class we'll see how dates work in Java okay in Java a date object it represents an instant instant in time okay so uh, when you create a new date object it generally represents the, cu the current date and current time okay and Java dates are epoch based epoch is nothing but January 1 1970 midnight 0 0 0 0 0 0 which is 0 over 0 minutes and 0 seconds okay in Java the date is internally represented as a sign long which is the number of milliseconds since the epoch so you are basically storing the number of milliseconds that has passed since January 1 1970 midnight GMT so the date constructor creates a date object representing the current date and time and when you say date long for on the in the constructor it represents it creates a date object representing that time so that long is number of milliseconds since since the epoch and if you want to get the current epoch based time then you say system dot current time millis and that will give you a long representing the number of milliseconds since the epoch in java there are a lot of useful methods to compare two dates okay so you have methods like after before compare to and equals so if you want to find out whether a given date is after as another date then you invoke the after method similarly if you want to check whether a certain date is before as another date then you invoke the before method and then you can use the compare to to compare two dates In Java you also have the date class in the java.sql package. The, the basic date is actually part of the java.util package. See this java.util. But there is also a java.sql date. Okay. The java.sql date it extends the java util date to, ex to add some more functionality. Okay. So what it does is it in the two string method it outputs the date as a four digit year two digit month and two digit day instead of a local specific string in the java dot util date when you use a two string it will use the current locale and represent the time in that particular locale and then there is a method called value of it can read a string and parse it into a java.sql date object okay <coughs> and then java you have the concept of a calendar most of the methods in the date class have been deprecated deprecated means they are no longer supported in the current and the future versions of java so you are encouraged to use the methods from the calendar class and the calendar class also belongs to the java util package and an instance of a calendar represents a specific instance in time but you, you need to make, uh, understand that the calendar class is an abstract class and there are a lot of classes which inherit from the calendar class and they support different calendar styles and the most common implementation of the calendar class is a Gregorian calendar calendar has a method called get instance which returns a localized calendar object initialized with the current date and time localized means local to that particular time zone or that particular area geographical area the calendar class has a lot of set and get methods for each of the different date and time fields like the month the day the year, the hour, the minutes and the seconds and then you can also compare calendar objects the same way that you compare date objects 
by using the before, after and compare to methods. You can also perform date and time arithmetic with the add method. So when you use the add method, you have to specify which unit of the calendar you are actually changing. So you should say whether you are changing the month, you are adding something to a month, you are adding something to the year, you are adding something to the hour, you are adding something to the minutes. So you have to specify what you are adding something to. And then there is a calendar also has a method called get time to convert it into a date object. So you can invoke the get time method on the calendar object to get the corresponding date object. And in Java there is a class called the time zone that also belongs to the Java util package. It represents a time zone offset from the GMT Greenwich Mean Time and it also calculates the daylight savings savings time. So time zone dot get time zone method it will return you a time zone object based on the system's time zone setting. This is the get time zone method which does not take any parameters. So it will give you the system's time zone setting. System's time zone setting means the uh, wherever the JVM is uh, the, J the process is running for that particular locale it's going to give you the time zone. You can also pass an ID to, to the get time zone method like for example if I pass America slash Los Angeles it will get me get, give you the time zone for the Pacific zone so it will give you the Pacific standard time the PST time zone you can invoke the get time zone method on the calendar object to get the corresponding time zone object for that calendar object and it has important methods like get ID which will give you the ID of the time zone and then you can get the display name how it is displayed when you print it and you can get the raw offset which is the number of hours that is that it is away from the GMT in Java you can also format and parse date using strings so there's a class called so there's a class called the date format class and the date format class is an abstract class. It has two methods called format and parse. When you use a format method, it generates a string representation of a date object. And the parse will do the reverse. That means it will take a string and create a date object from that string. But it needs to parse that date time string. Okay? And then you have a simple date format class which is a concrete class inheriting from the date format class remember the date format is an abstract class and you can use user defined patterns for formatting and parsing dates and times one important thing to remember is the simple date format is not a thread safe class so in order to make it thread safe you need to wrap it inside another class and and use that date format object as an instance variable to, so as to make it thread safe. Here is a very simple example on how to make the simple date format thread safe. And the date format has several static methods to obtain date time formatters and these methods I can either are based on either the default or a specific locale the date format has this method called get date time instance which doesn't take any parameters and that will give you the default locale whereas if you pass a specific locale to it it will get you the date time instance for that locale there is a open source package called Jura time which is which provides a very high quality replacements for the Java date and time classes and its design it allows for multiple calendar systems it includes the Gregorian, Julian, Buddhist and Islamic based calendars and you can look at the documentation for Jura time at this, this URL 
and it also has a number of different classes for formatting and parsing dates okay so let's now look at an example of a class which implements all these so here I have a simple demo program called example date so here on line 19 I'm creating a date with I'm not passing any arguments here so it will create that a date object with the current date and time and I can print the date object I can also get the get time which will give you give me the number of milliseconds since the epoch epoch is Jan 1 1970 midnight GMT I can also use the calendar to get an instance of a calendar which represents the current time and I can give the time zone in which for which I want that so if I say America Chicago it's going to give me the time for the CST which is the central standard time and using this calendar I can get the current year month day of month day of week day of hour of the day the minutes seconds and the milliseconds so I create this calendar object called C and I invoke all of these to get each of those units and I can also from the calendar object I can invoke the get time zone method to get the time zone object and on the time zone object I can print get the ID the display name and the raw offset okay I can also use on the date format class I can use a get date time instance and using that I can format the current time okay the default format is a short date and time format to get the medium format I have to pass the get date time instance with this medium as an argument and if I want a longer format I use to the long format finally here I show how you can parse and format dates so you create a simple date format and I can parse this string which has to correspond to this format so I have a two digit month two digit date and the year so this birthday is parsed as this and then once I parse the birthday I can also format it and print it and I'm formatting it in the using the medium format I can also take the current date okay and format it using a different kind of a formatter so here I'm printing the month in the long format which will be spelled out and then this is the day this is a four digit year the hours minutes and seconds this is the time zone this is the AM or PM format so let's run this program and see the output so here you can see that this is the current time and it is CDT which is central daylight savings time we are in the central time zone so it used the system's uh, locale to, to get the time zone and this is the number of milliseconds since the epoch and then from the current date and time we print each of these units the year is 2012 the month is August the day is 30th actually this month is yeah the month seven the month starts from zero so you from you're going from zero to seven so seven is August and then we're also printing the ID of the time zone object we are in central zone central you are in CST so in America Chicago is CST then the, the display the long display name is central standard time and here is the offset minus 21216 and then finally we also print the date in different formats this is a regular format this is a short format this is a medium format and then we have the long format and finally we parse a date from a string and this is another different kind of format where we are printing the AM PM the time zone and the month spelled out so for the month spelled out we use 4ms so this is just a simple example of how you can use the different objects 
like the date of date like the date class the calendar class the time zone class and date format classes like the simple date format so try out this program and play with the the Java, Java API you can also access the Java API from uh, the JDK API so go to the JDK 1.6 API and say calendar and you can access the all the different classes <coughs> for the calendar class you can also access the date of the date class the time zone class and the date formatted classes